Hi there. It's Sue, and thanks for joining me for Tips and Talk Day. These are bite-sized topics that I pull from community questions and things that I'm observing in the world of handmade small business. If you'd like to submit a topic, DM me over on Instagram at giftbizunwrapped. Before we get into the show today, I want to make sure that you know about the newest thing happening over here. It's called the Gift Biz Bash, a Zoom party that turns into a podcast episode several weeks later. The party consists of a short training with Q&A from yours truly, and then an opportunity for you to give a shout out about your business. You can tell us about a promotion you currently have going on, or share a collaboration that you're considering so that you can find a perfect partner for the event. A little bit of learning and visibility for your business? What could be better? There is a catch, though. Spots are limited to keep the party to about 45 minutes or so. That means you should grab your spot right away. It's totally free. To make sure you're included, why not do that right now? Pause this episode, go to giftbizunwrapped.com forward slash bash to sign up. And then come back and listen to the show. I'll see you at the bash. As I'm recording this, there is the most wonderful event happening right outside my window. It's spring construction time. All around, the robins in the Midwest are out and about building new nests to lay their eggs. We have a front and center view to a set of robins who take up residency most years clearly visible from our kitchen window and just right above our outdoor patio table, one of the downspouts curves ever so slightly. At the junction where the downspout meets the wood siding of our house, a familiar pair at this very moment are busy at work fixing up and making everything perfect for their new little babies of the season. My heart jumped a little bit yesterday when I looked out my upstairs window and saw a red-breasted robin, which is the daddy, looking in at me. Could it be? Are they moving back again this year? I never take this gift for granted. Being able to observe from a distance the miracles in nature. I could swear to you that he was saying, Hi, we're back! (laughs) You see? I wasn't sure if they would be. Besides being missing last spring, the winter winds and snow did a number on their old nest. It was pretty much demolished. Nothing left but a mess of sticks all flattened down with no resemblance of a nest shape at all. Most of the siding of the nest was blown away, too. Would they ever come back and rebuild almost from scratch? Or would they decide now's a time to permanently relocate, meaning we'd lose our ability to observe at such a close level? I was sad to think we'd miss out on this special viewing. Once I saw the robin, I ran down to the kitchen, and sure enough, the nest was being built again. I guess the location hasn't lost its value. And this time, they're using the matted down remnants from the previous nest as a foundation. I actually think it's going to make for a more stable, insulated, and soft platform for this new home. I can't put into words how special it is to watch the progress, to see the mother robin sit on her eggs when the time comes, and the father bring the worms to the newly hatched babies. It's a huge topic in our house and puts things in perspective given all that's happening around the world these days. All right, besides just sharing this as a feel-good story, I want to relate it to business. It is tips and talk day after all. The Robins got me thinking about seasons in our business and how easy it would be to just do the same thing over and over again, especially if you've been in business for several years now. I mean, the same holidays roll around, similar colors and products are traditional and popular in different seasons, and have probably do various promotions for different holidays, of course. Here's my question for you. Because you've done this before, 
perhaps many times, are you continuing with the same old, same old? And is this the best you can do? You see, here's the deal. Repeating what you've done in the past may or may not be the most lucrative or beneficial thing for growing your sales, albeit it's the easiest plan. Is it possible your customers are growing tired of seeing the same messaging and offers? Did your plan even work last year? Or is it tired, old, or a copy of what everyone else is doing? With each new season, new opportunities present themselves. And I'm suggesting that instead of going into the default mode of activity from the past, do what my Robins are doing. They recommitted to the nest location, took what was still usable from a past year, and did some remodeling to make an even better and more secure nest. Okay, major side note here. This new version of the nest has much higher sides than any robin's nest I've ever seen. I'm thinking they kept building up and up because it's been an extremely cold spring. So this way, the eggs and the mom will have more protection. It's my theory anyway. You know what? I'll put up some photos in my Instagram stories at giftbizunwrapped so you can see it and watch along with our little robin journey. <laughs> Oh, okay, getting back on topic here. How does the Robin theory apply to you? Well, as each season rolls around again, think back about the promotions that you did from the prior year. What worked well? What's still relevant? What could be improved? Or, and I know this is dramatic, but should the promotion even be repeated at all? Consider my coaching client who has switched her focus from direct-to-consumer purchases to a corporate initiative. While she still has a few Father's Day gifts as solutions for her new corporate accounts, she's not putting in the time and effort for Father's Day like she did last year because her business has shifted towards a new target customer. Doing what she did last year would be counterproductive and, quite honestly, confusing. Changes like this will happen as your business grows and develops. The transition into another season, or you could even say just doing this by calendar quarter, is a perfect time to refresh and revise so you stay in alignment with your current focus or strategy. If you're interested in hearing in more detail how to analyze your promotions, Jump over to episode number 137 of this podcast, where I give you a step-by-step system so your promotions keep getting better and better each and every year. That is it for me today. I'm going back to some Robin watching. That's a wrap. I'm a get-to-the-point kind of girl, and this is what you can expect from these quick midweek sessions. Now it's your turn. Go out and fulfill that dream of yours. Share your handmade products with us. We want them, and they bring us both so much happiness.